Laman Aleph Amid Base. Sorry, Laman Base Amid Base. The uh, the basic uh, premise of the Gemara is that people uh, do certain uh, sins, and on account of that, tragedy befalls them. And various different tragedies, the Gemara is saying, come because of certain sins. We said yesterday that the basic question and the most fundamental question of this Gemara is that uh, uh, the Torah tells us that children are not punished for the sins of their fathers and fathers are not punished for the sins of their children. And uh, over here, uh, the Gemara is, is uh, enumerating various sins that <coughs> befall, uh, that the punishment that will befall bef will be uh, um, for others and not only for the person that did the sin. Um, the, the, the primary structure of any answer is going to have to be that the child or the, the wife or the husband or the parents or whatever it is that they're going to die for the sin or get hurt for the sin or, or be in pain for the sin. It must be that they also have, um, uh, it would have gotten this in any case. The question, the, 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 the question is not why, why the one who suffered suffered, but uh, the relative of the one who suffers also suffers. And what did they do? And what sin did they do to deserve that? And that's really the question. It's not the it's not the cheshbon or not the uh, uh, pain or suffering of the one who did, but any time someone suffers or someone passes away, that affects uh, in a very painful way many people around them, and that's what we're asking, and that's what the Gemara is addressing. In any case. Um, the Gemara is going to continue with various uh, difficulties. And the Gemara is talking about um, which mitzvah brings about uh, this uh, long life. Is it mezuzah or is it tzitzis? We saw yesterday mezuzah or, or, or Torah. Now we have mezuzah or tzitzis. Amar of Kanavi, Tamer of Shila Mari, even in the corners of your garments, the blood of the poor people are found. And uh, the poor people would be your children because on account of your actions, they uh, are deceased. The one who says that it's uh, uh, the sin of mezuzah also learns it from here. The chsifr, it says, Levi machteres. Uh, not in a, uh, a tunnel I found them uh, that they made doors like tunnels meaning uh, they, they, they uh, snuck in there's no um, uh, but the idea is that it doesn't have proper structure of a doorway and therefore it doesn't it's not obligated in mezuzah and they did the same in their house they made believe that it's not obligated in mezuzah Anybody that is careful with mezuzah, sorry, with tzitzis, will benefit and have, will have um, 2,800 servants at the time of Mashiach. For it says, so it says Hashem, Master of all powers, but Yom Mehema in those days, Asha Yachziku Asara Nashem Mikolushonis, ten people from all of the languages, meaning from all of the nations, will grab on. The Shemes of Gabbai Yachziku Beknaf Ishiudi, they would grab on to the corner of the garment, which is the tzitzis of a Yehudi, of a Yehudi. Lemar say to say, Neil Chayimachem, let us go with you. So what we have is uh, 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 seventy. There are 70 languages, 70 nations. You see many times the Chazal that the, there are 70 nations of the world. And there's 10 for each uh, is 700. And uh, there are four corners of the garment. 
So you have 2,800. Then the Gemara says a simon for the rest of the uh, uh, the rest of the ailments. Simon cholat truba nixelas di neshvush vichusa giluya mevulka. Tani Rabbi Nachem Yoyim ba'avod sin aschinam for having unwarranted uh, uh, baseless hatred. But riva rabba b'tech beisa. In the end, the result is that there is great strife in one's own home. Shaladam ve'ishtam apelas lofalam and his wife can't remit, keep a pregnancy. And children pass when they are young. For not taking chala in bracha muchunis, there's no bracha that can uh, be with uh, be held within a uh, fam within a household. And uh, curse will be in the marketplace. Uh, spike in the prices, and then you you will plant and seed, and others will reap it. For it says, I will also do this to, to you. I will bring upon you a confusion. Uh, these ailments uh, and the yearning of the eye and the heart and the ache of the, of the soul. So zaratam lerik, you will you will uh, for not plant zarachem uh, your seeds vachlu ayvechem and your enemies will eat it. Al tikkur behala. So it's not behala, which is confusion. Ela bechala on account of chala, this will come to you. Ve'inosin ve'ein ve'imnosin. However, but if you do, if you do give chala. Miss Barkin, then you have Bracha in your house. Shadamafer says, Voracious are Sechem Titanu La Koyen, the first of your doughs, meaning a portion of your doughs you will give to the Koyen, La Haniach Bracha Visechem, in order to give Bracha to your household. So giving Chala brings Bracha to the household, and not giving Chala brings uh, destruction and, and poverty. Bavon Bittel Teruba Samaiser, similarly not doing Teruba Samaiser, Shamayim Nazarim, the heavens close up. Not to have rain and dew, it'll dry out. And therefore, there will be a great uh, uh, um, increase in, in cost of inflation. And there'll be loss in, 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 uh, in wages, in, in, in payment. Many other rats people are chasing after uh, a parnasa, but a and they won't attain it. Shanema for it says, Tsia gam chom yigzolu. They you you stole the heat, meaning in the summer you stole the, the harvest because you didn't give tithe. Same meshalik shal uh, and the the snow, meaning the winter, is also going to go to the depth of this my may mashba. So what's the uh, what, what does it show? On a very small, on account of things that you were obligated to do during the summer, you didn't. Therefore, the, the rains and the the waters of the snow are going to be held back from you. In the winter, however, if you do give terum and ma'aseh, you tithe. So then, Ms. Barchim, then you're going to have a great bracha. Shnema for it says, Heviu is called Ma'asar al Beso. It's a bring the tithe to the storehouses. And it'll be uh, food in my house. The Chanuni Nelvazos, Hashem says, You can test me on this one. Usually we say, the Gemara says elsewhere that the, the, you're not allowed to test Hashem. But Hashem says, The Chanuni Nelvazos, test me on this one. If I will not open for you the heavens, the, 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 the windows of the heavens, as it were. And I will empty out to you until there is not enough. What does it mean, until there's not enough? Until until your lips are totally worn out from saying enough. You have so much that you will say enough. 
Okay, it's connected also to Dai Dayenu. Dai. Yeah. The that the that the song that we sing on Pesach on the Seder night has to do with this Pasuk also. We sing Dayenu, Dayenu, Dayenu. If you hadn't done that, Dayenu. That that die, it's enough. Die means enough. Dayenu, it's enough for us. <sighs> Bavon Gezel, on account of theft, Hagubai um, Ola, uh, uh, locust will, plague will come, Vaharav have it, and there'll be a shortage of food. To the degree that people will eat their own children, their own dead. Shanema for it says, Shimudvara, Shimadavar Azeh, Horus Abosha. Here, listen to these words. Um, the the uh, cows of Bashan, Asher Bahar Shomron, those that are in Shomron, Haoshkas Dalim Arotzitim Avionim, who steal from the poor and 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 oppress and take away that which the the very poor have. Amar Rava who for who for instance who is that? Hani Nashi the Mechuza, it's the, these women of Mechuza, the Achla Vleyavna, because they eat and uh, uh, they don't work. They don't do anything to sit around and eat. As a, and as a result, either they steal or they cause their, their um, families to steal on their behalf. And it says, In case he has a machine, Dauphin will be rocking, or uh, um, the, I will smite you. I mean, I would, the, the punishment will be she Dauphin which is rocking, which is destruction of the crops. Harbus, very much so. And, and it says, the, the, whether it's your gardens or your vineyards or your, your uh, date orchards or your olive orchards, um, olive groves, all of them are going to be eaten by the uh, gazem, which is one form of, uh, of grasshopper. We'll see, it says, yes, our gazem, arbe. And whatever the gozam uh, uh, leaves over, the arba, another type of locust, another type of uh, grasshopper is going to come and eat. The yesara arba, achala yelek, and what remains from them, the yelek will eat, another type of grasshopper. The yesara yelek, achala chasil, and uh, what remains there, the chasil eat. So it'll be totally wiped out. It'll be a locust plague after another, after a locust plague after a locust plague from one type of grasshopper to the next. Sivir says, by Yigza Yamin Marai, and it the pun and it'll be decreed upon the right, it'll be hunger. Vayochal uh um smoil Velosov ish and and on the left it'll be that they will not be able to eat be satiated. And as a result, Ish Basar Zaroy Yachelu, man, the the flesh of his arm he will eat. I'll take Basazroy, the flesh of his arm, that's a euphemism for Yellow Basar Zaroy. The flesh of his own children. Avon inu adin, for somebody who's in charge of justice, and they don't end up doing justice, whether it's inu adin by holding back and not and, and pushing off the the time for judgment, so the person who who needs the money that was wrong is not getting the money back. That's inu adin. That's punishment. That that's painful because you're 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 taking time. To complete the, the uh, and bring justice, the evil sadin and the the crookedness of the law, uh, uh, by 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 letting people off that have sinned have done wrong, the kilkul adin and people not 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 really looking at depth in depth at the matter, ubital Torah and not studying Torah, cherev ubiza raba. So the punishment for that is that there will be a sword, meaning war, and uh, Biza is where they loot, and uh, Dever and Matsuris are uh, pestilence, a plague, and uh, famine. People eat, but they're not full. And there's a ration piece of bread. The Sifra says, and as it says, that the, the sword will come to, uh, to avenge the covenant. 
Torah and the covenant is Torah. If not for my bris, then the heavens and earth would not be there. Uh, they are the statutes of the of the world of Siv, and it says, "B'shivir lechem when I uh, give out for you uh, uh, bread, v'afu es anoshim, ten women will be there to to uh, make bread in one uh, in one uh, oven, and it says at the end of that pasuk, and you will eat your bread." In a measure, meaning you'll have a ration, you won't be able to eat as as you need, and you will eat that you will not be full. It says, "Yan ubiyan and the reason for this is because you have disgraced, you've been disgusted with my laws, meaning you didn't treat justice well, and the Torah you didn't study. If uh, on the sin of Chil uh, Hashem, the desecration of Hashem's name, and Shabbos, uh, um, then the result is, oh, and, and false oaths, whether it's uh, it clearly false or it's deceivingly false, either way, uh, the result is that uh, there, uh, there is animals that come, and dangerous animals that come, and animals, uh, your, your livestock uh, will die out, and and there are a few people out, and the roads are empty. Shenemaphat says, And if in these you will not be uh, uh, punished, meaning you did not take lesson and heed from the punishment, and therefore it didn't change your ways to do the right thing. And we'll see the drash is not be'ela, but be'ala with a, with a promise. So I'll take be'ela, not with these, but ela be'ala, on account of is uh, oath, so that's the false oath. We whether shvua shav shvua sheker, whether it's false because clearly or deceivingly. And it says the result of that is v'shlachti b'chemas chayes asode. I will send in the uh, wild animals. Achsiv v'shvua sheker v'lis v'shav v'shmi la sheker. It says don't take my name in falsehood. V'chalalta Hashem alakecha because you will desecrate Hashem's name. So you see that also any desecration of Hashem's name. V'chal Hashem ksiv v'lis chal Hashem kachi. Don't desecrate my name. And Shabbos also says it's a desecration. So we learn this, this desecration from false oaths that the punishment is the same. Uh, the uh, uh, result of murder is the Beis HaMikdash is destroyed. And the Shechina will, re- will, will leave your, uh, um, Israel it says, "Do not, uh, do not, uh, uh, is really a form of flattery. But it means that not to do chanufa on the land as uh, aretz because it means that you you make believe you're so great, you're taking care of the land, you're taking care of the people, but as a but you're killing." Right? Stalin also justified what he did for the people, for the land, for the uh, right, for the motherland. So, ki uh, bedam, um, because in blood you cannot. The pasuk says you cannot uh, flat, do flattery to the land in blood. Let's the tamos do not uh, do not make the land tame. Asharatav yeshrum the land in which you live in it. Asher nishor chavaseicha which I am dwelling in it. Ha atametame myself, but if you do uh, make it tame, ein chem yeshrum ba you will not. I have the merit to dwell in the land. And I will not dwell amongst you. So uh, the Gemara says here uh, that for that you will not be in the land, and, and Hashem says Shechina will not be in the land if you murder. The Gemara continues. I'll in the middle. The uh, the sin of the other two um, uh, capital sins. Uh, the other two uh, primary sins of uh, Gilarayas, uh, um, illicit sexual acts, and idolatry, and not allowing the fields to be fallow on the seventh year, and also the fiftieth year. That brings uh, exile. 
and they will leave and others will sit in their land. Shemamaphrat says, because all of these sins, all of these desecrations or disgusting acts were done by the people of the land before you. The land will become uh, 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 Tame, and I will uh, have to account for all of those sins. And you will not be thrown out of the land in your making it um, uh, Tame. However, by idolatry, it says, and you will, your, your corpses will be placed and I will make your 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 mikdash uh, um, desolate. And you, I will scatter into the lands, into other nations. And also says, Then the, the land will will take uh, take revenge. It'll it'll be appeased for, or it will um, uh, make up for the. The Shabbos is meaning the uh, the seventh years that you didn't sit, follow. Call you may hishama all the days that it should be followed. You in the meantime will be in foreigner lands. The Sivir it says call you may hishama tishpas all the days that that are, it's desolate that it'll it'll rest the Shabbos so the, it'll have the seventh year that it should have had uh, the rest um, it'll have then. Ma'avon avelus ma'avon nivlus peh. On account of the sin of uh, a crude speech, tsaras rabbis bo, many many evils come, many uh, d- difficult situations come. Zerush kashes and bad decrees, mischatches will come uh, all the time. New umechure seri yisrael mesim yisoyim ve'almanis tzayake ve'ined, and the young of and this a euphemism, the young of the enemies of the Jews will die, meaning the young of the Jews, and there will be orphans and widows, they will call out. Nobody will respond because there's so much tsar. Shunem Afrit says, Al Kain al Bakhur of the Yisma Hashem, La Yisum of Ves Amanos of Leirachim. They are young. Hashem will not love, meaning will not show the love. And the uh, the uh, orphans and widow, there's nobody that's being compassion. Kich Kolachana from Mara, Machal Pedo Vernavala. Because there's a complete uh, uh, e- um, evil and and uh, Hanufa is flattery, and people are speaking with uh, with uh, this, with this, with a uh, uh, withering mouth, a disgusting mouth. Yet his anger is not uh, turned away, and his hand is still there. My What does it mean? His hand is still uh, outstretched over this. Says, Everybody knows uh, why a bride goes to the chupa. In other words, it, it, it's known what uh, what a couple does. However, uh, when if somebody is crude in their speech to to uh, not use euphemisms, but rather the need to spell out things and use words that reference things that are not nice. So even though um, it's a, th- that's natural things, um, but uh, you know, again, everybody knows why somebody goes to the bathroom, but it depends on how you speak about it. Um, everybody knows why, what couples do, it depends on how you speak about it. And, and that's the idea. That, that things that are private and things that are are uh, uh, appropriate are spoke uh, are uh, appropriately spoken about, and if not, uh, even a, a a positive, even a good decree upon a person for seventy years will be turned to bad. Someone who has crude speech. There, even the depths, they will deepen the Gehenim for it. Shanem for it says, Shurcha uh, Amulka uh, Prizaris. Foreign speech is, is uh, uh, brings a, a depth uh, in the Shurcha in, in, when, in going down. Even somebody who hears it and doesn't say anything, Shanem for it says, Zo'oma Shem Yipol Shem. 
even the one who is quiet to Hashem is going to fall victim. I'm Rabbi Shaya. Call him a Marek Avera, somebody who specifically uh, makes themselves available for Avera, meaning they seek it out and empty their, people have things to do, but they take that off the list in order to do uh, Averas. Chaburas uh, Avatariyasma. He gets punishment of boils. Shanema for it says, Chaburas Petza, Vitamra Bara, Voleoid. These are Chaburas Petza, are boils for somebody who empties himself for evil. And not only that, Al Shanada Behid Drokin, but also he would get the stomach ailment. Shanema for it says, Amakas Chadur Botan, and punishments of the of the uh, stomach. Amar of Nachma Yitzchak, Simula Vera Drokin. Uh, if you have, somebody has a drachen, it may be a sign that they have did an avera. Shneimer for it says a makas chadur botan. Tana bonus so the brayse says gimel mini hadrachen. There are three types of hadrachen. Shel avera ava uh, uh, the stomach ailment. If somebody did an avera, is ava it, it's uh, uh, explo- uh, whatever a, a wide stomach. Shel raav tafuach. And of hunger, then it's swollen. Shall kashafim, and if it's of a sorcery dock, then it's thin. Shmuel cut the chashbe. Shmuel, the the younger, um, had a, a stomach ailment. Amar ben Shlomim Mapis said, Hashem, take it away from me because people are going to judge me for sin, even though that's not the basis for it. Itzi said he was healed. Abaye chashbe. Abaye had the ailment. Amar Rav. Rav said, Yidara be menachmeni. We're not worried about the uh, Abaye. Because the the mach benafshe, everybody knows that he's so poor that he's hungry. Rava chashbe, Rava had this ailment. But Rava who the Amar nefisha ketili kaider minafichay kafir. But he's the one that says that people die more uh, from from uh, uh, containing themselves and not going to the bathroom than from hunger. So that so that would mean his ailment, his stomach illness, came from not going to the bathroom, which is a problem. He should have just gone to the bathroom. Shiny Rava, the Ansila Rabbanov, the Al Korchi. Rava, the problem was that he was teaching so much, and the, and the Chachamim would ask him so many questions. He didn't have an opportunity to go, and that's why he got sick in the stomach. Turn about it. Dalas and Manamahit, there are four things that are signs of something. Simila Avera, of, of a, 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 a simon for uh, somebody that did an Avera. Hadraka. Uh, Similar sinas chinam for uh, unwarranted hatred to someone. Yeruka is uh, uh, like a, a hepatitis. Similar gasas aruach agnius. Haughtiness brings poverty. Similar lashon hara askara and askara is a result of speaking evil. Tanar avodan askara baloyelo. This uh, askara, which is a type of entanglement, uh, uh, a suffocation. So what does that come from? Lamed gimel lamed beis ala meiser from not tithing. He says it's from Lashon Hara. From which verse? Because it says in the Pasuk, The king is happy and all of the praise and the promises, but there is a punishment for all those uh, that speak false. So uh, the, uh, the Yisachir is the punishment of Askara. Um, or they say, So, uh, He's saying only because of Lashon Hara, also tithing and Lashon Hara causing. So we saw this when the Chachamim came into Kermit Yavne. So the new academy in Yavne was set up like a vineyard in lines and rows. They didn't just sit in a, a, a jumble in front of them. And so, um, so there were Rabbi Yehuda, who was the, at the head of the academy, um, uh, who would speak, and Rabbi Lezab, Rabbi Yossi, and Rabbi Shimon. So initial So this question was asked before them. Makazu ma maschelas Ask her, why does the ailment start in the stomach and ends up with an strangling with a swelling in the mouth and they can't breathe? 
uh, Rabbi Yehuda Bar Abilai answered, and as we saw before, he was the first one to speak on account of he spoke up in defense of Rome. And so the government ruled that he always speaks first. But Amar and he said, Alpha Pisha Kaloyas says, even though that the kidneys give the advice, Valev Maven and the heart is what understands, Valashmachatik, and the tongue is the one that expresses pegomen. It's the mouth that completes it, and therefore that gets punished. And that's the way it starts from the stomach in out. Because they eat unkosher things. They're eating unkosher things. But it means not kosher because they didn't take the tithe properly. So you see that it's because of tithes. Nana Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shimon said, And it's not an account of Lashonara, it's not an account of Maisa, it's because of the uh, um, abandoning Torah. Amr Loi, so they said to him, what, what are you talking about? Nashim Yechichu. Why did the women uh, get punished? And they're not uh, in Bittal Torah because they're not necessarily obligated to being in the academy. They're not obligated, so how could it be considered a Bittal Torah? So Gemara says, Shemavatlis is Baalayim. Because they, when their husbands want to go to, to the academy, they don't let them go. Nachrim Yechichu, what about non Jews? Uh, why do they get Askara? And what did they do wrong? Shemavatli is Israel because they stopped Israel from learning Torah. Tinoikas Yechichu, what about young children? Why do they get it? Shemavatli Saviyah because they stopped their uh, the, their parents. Tinoikas Shemes Rabbi Yechichu, what about kids that are in themselves in school? So they're learning Torah and yet they get, they get this. Asak to Rabbi Giryo. There it's like Rabbi Gurion said. Amar Rabbi Gurion, when you tell Rabbi Yechichu, Rabbi Shemayim, Bizman Shat Sadiqa Bidor, Sadiqa Mitfasim Aladim. When there's righteous people of the generation, so they will die on account of the sins of the generation. But if there are no righteous people, it is the children that are studying Torah that die on, the, on account of the sins of the generation. From our verse, so we know this. In Shirah Shirim, it says, if you do not know this, O oh, beautiful amongst the women, meaning Am Yisrael, and go look at the heels of the sheep and see where they're where they are because they are hanging out at uh, um, uh, the the um, foreign um, pasture. Amrina Gidim Amamushkanim Alaroy because it says at the end of the Pasik um uh Al Mishkanas are Gidisaich, see where the pasture of your kids are of your goats they are on the tents of the of the roim of the shepherds so the shepherds are the leaders and if there's no leaders so that the children are there on the count of the leaders but from the fact that they said it about lashon hara and on account of miser of uh, of not taking miser you see that it's also because of that all of these are reasons for askara shmamina so now the Gemara tells a story. Why was Rabbi Yehuda considered the first to speak in front of uh, 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 any of the uh, academies? The Yasvi, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Shimon were sitting together. And Yehuda ben Gerim and Yehuda ben Gerim was sitting with them. Pasach Rabbi Yehuda Rabbi Yehuda began by saying praise about the Roman uh, infrastructure. Look how, how beautiful their actions are. They set up marketplaces. They made bridges. They made bathhouses. Rabbi Yossi didn't say, yeah, that's great. He also didn't, compl- didn't uh, argue. However, but Rabbi Shimon, he responded. And he said, uh, but they did this all to, to make themselves great. They didn't do it for the people. They didn't do it for us. Why did they put it in marketplaces? So that there could be um, uh, houses of ill repute. They put in bathhouses. Just to make themselves softer and, 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 and to pleasure themselves. They made bridges. Just so that they could charge taxes. Yehuda Begera repeated the words. Well, you say it once, you say it twice, people hear about it, the government hears about it. And the government heard about it. 
So they didn't like that. Amru Yehuda she'ila Yehuda that said praise Yisala. He gets he he goes up at the head. Yosi she'shosak Yigla Yosi that was quiet. He's got to go. He's got to leave. Leave town. Uh, he's exiled. Uh, so you have to go to Tzipori. Shimon, Rabbi Shimon, Shagina, because he made fun of the king uh, of the uh, 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 Romans. Yaharik, he's got to be killed. Azal Huobrei, so they went. He, uh, Rabbi Shimon and his son, Elazar. Tashu, Beis Midrash, so they hid in the, uh, the Beis Midrash. Kol Yom Avam, I still live the bit. Rifta, every day his wife would bring bread for them. Bekuza, Namaya, and a, a, measure, a measure of water, Bekachi. Kitakif, Gezerta, when it became, uh, uh, they were really looking for them hard. So Amar Le Lebre, he said to his, to his son, Nashem Daita Kalale. Uh, look, they're going to pick on the women because they are softies and they're, they're, their knowledge is easy on them, meaning that they're going to, she's going to spill the beans where we are. Dilma Mitzari La Magdala, they're gonna they're gonna punish her until she says where we are. Azlu Tasha Bamarat. So they went and hid and didn't even tell her where, so this way she can't tell. It's Rachash Nisa and a miracle happened. Irulu Haruva Eina Damaya. It was a carob tree and a stream of water that came that that uh, that were there at that time. Mahama Mashachim and I um they were able to um, feed off of that. They were able to get off of the water and, and, and drink off the water and eat from the fruit. But they, all day they would sit and they would study Torah, but they didn't want their clothing to wear out. So they would take off their clothing and sit and cover themselves with sand. Um, and they would study Torah all day. But when it was time to daven, then they would get up and, 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 and get dressed. And then they would take it off again so that it doesn't wear out. And they were there for uh, um, uh, uh, 12 years. So Leo came. Leo came and stood at the opening of the cave. And he said, Man Who's going to tell Bar Yochai the miskaser that Caesar died? And his uh, his decrees are gone, and therefore it's free to come out. So they came out. He saw people that were plowing and seeding the field. Twelve years we're learning Torah. These people are busy uh, instead of uh, the, with with the world to come. They're busy with. Uh, temporary stuff like planting. this of whoever they put their eyes at burn. a heavenly voice came out and said, What you're coming out to look evilly at everything that the, my world that my world requires these things, and you're looking evilly at everything that's in my world. Go back. Go back to your cave. So they waited there, they went back and they were in the cave for another 12 months. Amri Mishra to Shabbat had a Yud Beis Chodesh. Well, we were punished, but the punishment is twelve months of Gehenim. So we did our twelve months. Now we can come out. Yotzav Baska Alvet Zuvim Maratchem. So said, Yeah, you can go out of your cave. Nafku. So they went out. Kol Hecha Dechad Havam Machi. Wherever they looked, and Rabbi Lazar, the son of Rabbi Shimon, would look and 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 injure them. Rabbi uh, Rabbi Lazar, Havam Masi Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon would look and heal them. So he looked with a good eye. Amar Lebini. He said to his son, It's okay. Let them do what they need to do. The world has you and me. We are studying Torah. That's enough. That Friday afternoon, he saw this elderly person who had two sticks of, of uh, myrtle branch, of, of hadasim. And he was rushing. So he was getting close to Shabbos. Amrulei hani lamalach. What do you have these for? Amar Luhu, he said to them, L'chvot Shabbos, it's for the honor of Shabbos. Betiski l'ch v'chad, so then one's enough. What do you need two? Uh, so he said, K'neged zachar v'chad, K'neged zachar v'chad, K'neged zachar No, I have two. One for zachar and one for shamar. Of the, the, the first uh, luchas and second luchas, which says, zachar is here Shabbos and shamar is here on Shabbos. Amar le'i l'brei, so he said to his son, Chazi, look, 
Kama Chaviva Mitzvah Yisrael, how, uh, how precious the mitzvahs are for the Jews. Yosef Da'atayu, so they calmed down. Shomer Rebichas Ben Yor Chasnei. Rebichas Ben Yor, who was the son-in-law of Reb Shem Yechai, heard about this. And he went to greet them. Aile Beibani, he brought him into a bathhouse to wash him off. Twelve years. Hava Arich Le'bit Le'bisrei. And he was uh, preparing or washing his, his, his uh, flesh. Uh, and and what and, and uh, Chazi, he saw the have a peeling. He saw that there were holes in his flesh, the goofy, and um, and this was an account of the sand that they were sitting in. Have a he was crying because dim as ene, the tears of of his son-in-law were dripping on him. Because and was hurting so much that he was crying. Now, Amalei oily sheri isi bekach. Woe to me that I saw you such. Amalei, so Rabbi Shimon responded, no, it's not woe. How, how great, how fortunate that you see me in such a way. If not for me toiling like this in the sand, you would, and, and therefore you see me like this, you would not have uh, uh, seen all the teachings that I have. Because at first, when Rabbi Shimon Bechai would ask a question, Rabbi Pinchas Ben Yoyer would be able to respond with 12 answers. The safe, but in the end, Kiyav Maksher of Pinchas Ben Yoyer, when Pinchas Ben Yoyer would ask a question, he had 24 responses. Since the miracle happened, I have to go fix it up. The Sifra says, Yaakov came, and Sholem, he was peace. What does it mean? He was in peace. But Amar Rav, Sholem Gufa, that his body was healed, fully healed. Sholem that he was full, it, 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 he was complete with his finances. Sholem Mitarosa, complete with his Torah. Um, as it says, Vayichanas Panei Ir, they rested in front of the city as one. Amar Rav, Makbeyatik Alem. Rav says he made a coin for them. Shmuel Amar Shvaki Tikalem, that. Uh, he made uh, uh, marketplaces for them. Uh, so that's what Chaim is, that Vayichan is, that he rested in front, I made Chaim, he did something ple- pleasant for them. Uh, and, and he set up their fields. Rabbi Yechonam and Mechatzoi is Tikalev, he made bathhouses for them. Oma Ika Milsa the Boyle the Kuni. So he says, is there anything needed fixing? Oma Lu Ika Duchta the Isbe Safik Toma. Yes, there is something that needs a fix, they said to Rabbi Shimon, because there is a place that there's a doubt of whether there's Tumah there. And basically, and it's difficult for the Kahanam to avoid that place when Lama Dalad Amun Aleph at the top. He says, do, we, do people even know that, um, that this place was Tahar? Uh, Yes, I know for sure because I know that Ben Zaka, Rabbi Yechad Ben Zakai, would cut up fruits of Teruma right here. So he also um, uh, did that. Everywhere where the ground was, was, uh, was hard, he, he said that that was Torah. And everywhere where it was soft, he said that it was um, it, that that's where he marked that it could be a uh, puzzle. Amar Usabe Tira Ben Yochanan Beisakfaris. So one of the elders said, Rabbi Yochanan, as Rabbi Shimon um, uh, made a a a, a, a uh, graveyard tar. There's 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 graves there. Amale ilamale yisi emanu afilo yisi emanu v'le nimnes emanu yafatay. If you had been and not been there, or you had not been counted amongst them, fine. Now, but however, since you are part of this, so, uh, uh, and you agree to it, they say that just, uh, um, uh, they, they, they're taking care of each other. They are, they are, uh, the, 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 youth, the, the, the um, this is a, uh, allegory where you say that the, the, the harlots are, ta- are, are braiding each other's hair. Meaning they're they're scratching each other's backs. Yeah, um, yeah. So he says, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't, I, I can't agree to this because of this. 
because I, 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 it'll look like I'm just scratching his back. He looked at him and he died. He went out into the marketplace. He saw the, the guy who said the first, uh, who repeated the story first, and on account of him, he had to go to the cave. This guy's still around. He looked at him and he uh, made him into a pile of bones, meaning he died. He collapsed right there and he died. That's the end of these and the story of how he went into the cave and came out. Um, uh, just a matter of housekeeping. Um, to, obviously, tomorrow there'll be no shear.